I'm so tired yeah. of all these kind of videos talking about banging, smashing, uh, pounding, nailing, pounding, screwing, punish fucking. Yeah. It's crazy. I started watching porn pretty young and couldn't really come without it for a long period of time. Porn is quite intense and I think it can be quite scary when it gives young people a very skewed way of how, how sex should be and what intimacy should be. I've seen a lot of porn that taps into our worst, most basic instincts, and banning it won't make it go away. So am I always going to find porn a problem? Or is it possible to make porn that doesn't feel quite so icky? Barcelona, porn capital of Europe. I've heard that amongst the many porn producers here, there's one fighting to change the industry for the better. Erica Lust creates films that are radically different to the free, easily accessible stuff you find on most porn websites. She takes a totally ethical approach. But I wonder, what does that really mean? There's a whole indie movement, really. Smaller production companies of directors, producers, performers, who are trying to make a different kind of porn, a porn that is respecting people. Gambi? I'm so tired yeah. of all these kind of videos talking about banging, smashing, uh, pounding, nailing, pounding, screwing, punish fucking. Yeah. When you watch women having sex with these men or whatever, mm -hmm. but you can tell they're not turned on. It's crazy. With mainstream porn today, they are not interested in human sexuality. It's all about traffic, nasty, dirty, ugly as possible to earn money. Erica's got me so fired up about making better porn that I'm going to work with her to turn my wildest fantasies into her new film. Porn I'm hoping that I can finally feel good about. <laughs> well, the thing about my fantasies is that I feel like exploring time periods and group sex. I've always been obsessed with the 60s and 70s, the way everything looked, but also the sexual revolution, how everyone was so open and free, and it was a very, like, exciting time for that. Group sex, voyeurism, exhibitionism, just, yeah, good old-fashioned lovemaking. For me, I think that porn is really lacking in the female voice, or at least different voices, different points of view. You really want to see real pleasure and real intimacy because otherwise it's just this kind of like very staged, contrived version of what love or intimacy should look like. When you were thinking about the kind of the 60s, yes. and it, was it something like this you had imagined? No, the details are wonderful. Yeah. From my wildest dreams. It's, it is really, really pretty. So what are I you doing it. right now? What's, what well, is... I'm preparing next okay. shoot where we actually get to know the performers. Now I know that Erica's films are all about inclusivity, respect, consensual sex, etc. But this next bit, I honestly could not have imagined. A consent chat with the cast that's on camera, an actual part of the film. Done, OK. And action. This is a talk about your personal sex boundaries. Bishop, what do oh, you I think? <laughs> <laughs> My back is actually quite a sensitive space, but, like, impact play is actually fine. I'm pretty into giving, so, like, blowjobs, rimming, but I'm also open to receiving. Other than that, like, I'm easy. Great, thank you. Nat, how do you feel? I would uh, be happy to receive everything besides uh, no spit on a face. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty easy with almost everything, minus anal sex and playing with my nipples. They are too sensitive to be touch. And I also would like to know what is it that brings you all to orgasm? <laughs> yeah. OK, well, then in that case, play with my balls. <laughs> <laughs> play with my balls, lick them, suck them, play with them. That will help gotcha. me. Orgasm, balls. It is. <laughs> <laughs> if you feel that something is not going the way you want, please communicate it. Well, good luck to everyone, uh, and let's have a great party. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and cut. 
We need to see the nickel tassel. Let's move. <laughs> what each person's preferences are, what their limits are, what makes them have reach an orgasm, what makes them comfortable, what makes them uncomfortable. Just making my dreams come true in terms of what it should be. Do you give directions when they're having sex? No, not that much. I give directions before. We're going to talk about the light and the best angles and the best places right. and that. So then it can but be... then when we start, uh, we let it kind of run. That's amazing. Uh... OK, let's do it. Music, dancing, action. Good. Yes. Sexy. Yes. That looks great. That is a wrap. We have oh, a wrap. So ends my time with Lady Lust and team. Always good to go out with a bang. Thank you. Wasn't that strange, was it? Not at all. Sex is way more scary. <laughs> I was just very happy to see sex being represented in a way that I knew it was in real life. If I had seen that kind of porn when I was a teenager or kid, I would have felt more respected and asked for what I wanted as a woman a lot more. The first time I asked a man for what I actually wanted in bed was this year, and I'm 29 years old. Like, that's insane. Porn is problematic, but it's not the problem. <laughs>